projector. Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. Shop Global. I as well. Hello, and welcome to the online meet and greet with Rocky Romero and David Finley, presented by the Token Shop Global. For today's event, Rocky and David will first sign and address those who bought items. Then they will respond to questions asked via the Super Chat. If you would like to purchase an autographed item, they are still available at the link in the description. We have shirts, towels, sunglasses, drink holders, and portraits. I'd also like to remind you to subscribe to the Token Shop Global mailing list to stay up to date on all of our newest merchandise. Just go to shop.njpw1972.com to register. Now, without further ado, I would like to welcome Rocky Romero and David Finley. Thousand people looking. Bring Rocky out. Come on. Remember my days. 
I sung this song. But now I look forward to the future. <laughs> As I send you crying down that road. Uh, Hurry up, come on. Come on. Eyepatch wearing, nefariously daring, notorious, much more than glorious. Forever close lining like a minibus with a surplus of energy for all my enemies. Black tiger stone. Woo! People going nuts. Going nuts. People going wild. What's up, everybody? Hey, Rock. Hey, what's up? Long time no see. I know it's been a couple months, man. The people went wild on your entrance, by the way. I know. I can feel it. Everybody's just going nuts in the chat right now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, going wild. This song, you can you can listen to it on Spotify, on iTunes. Apple Music, it's available everywhere in the Casuzo Road by yours truly, Rocky Secret Romero. But more importantly, we are here live on YouTube just having a good time. What are we going to do, Finley? Uh, well, we're going so. to sign stuff. We're going to talk about things. I don't know what kind of things. Mm -hmm. We're going to have fun. We're gonna, whole have a, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. So if you guys are in the chat right now or on Twitter, retweet us, tweet about it, talk about it. Let's spread the word. Smash the like button. Let everybody know that you guys are having fun on a Thursday night with Rocky Romero and Mr. David Finley. That sounds like a great idea. Smash that like button. Smash it. Like this. Turn it blue. It's I easy. It turns blue. Make or sure red. to subscribe as well. Or maybe red. I don't know. Or maybe subscribe to. Just hit it and subscribe. Yeah, hit it and subscribe. What do we got? I feel like you want to. Oh, we got oh, sunglasses. Snap. We're going to do our first signing hold on we're going too fast we got feel like we got to let some people join the chat you bring know, it closer see, i'm just bringing it closer i see how some of these youtubers do it and i, I feel like now that we're official youtubers here on uh the new japan uh us or new japan uh global youtube channel uh you know we're youtubers now officially 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 so you know card carrying like, youtubers yes sweet you're like jake paul i'm kind of like logan paul Wh who's the, the cooler one? Uh, who's the cooler me, one? Me, of course. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. What, what who's mean? fighting Floyd? Logan. I want to be Logan. Yeah, then. I would be the one fighting Floyd. No, I want to fight Floyd. Uh, why do you? Uh, why do you think you deserve to fight? Floyd? I just want the you money. That's no. Nah, 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 dude. <laughs> I was home for Christmas. Oh, that's true. That is true. How? Wh let's talk about that. How was your? Uh, how was your Christmas? Well, I was home for Christmas, so it was very, very nice. It was great. Yeah, huh? it was good. I was surrounded by my dogs and my wife. Oh, nice. Uh, we've got a niece in my family now, so that was cool. Yeah, yeah, exciting stuff. So, uh, so is that the possible fifth generation of fighting Finleys? Potentially, yes. Potentially. Very exciting stuff. That is really amazing. That is super cool. I, wrestling family, dude. The, the, you guys are legit, like wrestling dynasty. I guess, depending on how good. I am and my siblings yeah, are. Yeah. <laughs> it, could be a flop. You. it could be a flop. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Whoa, that is a lot of pressure. I know. You have to like do really, really well. I mean, obviously, you're a <laughs> former IWGP tag team champion. That's true. You did win the uh, the uh, World Tag League uh, in 2019. I did. I also won C Block in uh, 2018, I, I think. I feel like that's your most important accomplishment that for some reason kind of gets skipped over. And uh, you, not only did you win the first ever C Block, right? Right. But you are in the inventor I am. of the C Block. And a lot of people look past that. And, and, and does that, is that something that bothers you in your career? Yeah, I feel like uh, C Block doesn't get the respect it deserves. You know, people are always talking about A Block and B Block. Right. But, uh, you know, I kind of revolutionized the C Block. I did. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And I can't remember who won the C Block this year. Oh, it was. It was uh, uh, Big Suge. Big Suge Big won Suge the C Block. Won it. So shout out to Big Suge and all the Big Suge fans worldwide that are tuning in into this stream right here on YouTube. On YouTube. Um, so I, should we, let's sign something. Okay. Let's we, sign. We have some amazing fans worldwide that, um, uh, are, are tuning in and, and they've already kind of pre, uh, I guess pre bought these items. That's how that works. And if you guys want to buy some, they're available now on the new Japan global, uh, Togon global site. So go ahead and go and click on the link and you guys should be able to 
join in. On Put this. lots of things in your cart. Yeah. Buy them, and then we'll write our names on them, and and we'll shout you out, and yeah. leave a little note for you, for us, and uh, and we'll let you know, or or hit us up in the chat. So, um, shall we? Shall we, we shall. We shall. Who's the first one? I can't write and okay. talk into I'll, microphone I at the same time. I can talk while you All right. do that. You narrate for me. Okay, well, I'm gonna narrate. So this is David Finley. He's opening up his marker. Slowly. Slowly. Jeremy, can you open the? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Is it ready? Oh no, it's not. He's got to dab it up. Get it ready. He didn't prepare. He's got to prep. Jeremy did not prepare. He did not prepare that for you. I can hold your mic too. No, I got it. I can I can talk about how this marker doesn't work while I'm trying to get it well, to work. Yeah, since since uh, while you're doing that, we can we can. I I know. I'm. It's here we go. We got some silver ink going. The best paint markers in the world. Riveting yeah. stuff here on YouTube. Yes, yes. That's what it is. It's like when you're a YouTuber like us now, and um, you're just out here, you know, in front of what I can just assume is just millions of people right now on this stream, just tuning in. And, and talking about it. Don't forget to yeah, show it. There you, there go. you go. This is uh this is for Canyon from Indiana. Nice. Shout Didn't out leave to me Canyon. a note though, but I'll I'll just say hey. No note, <laughs> but we're saying hey to you. And um, that's it. So what do you do? You sign. I just wrote my name on the left eye. That's pretty cool. And man. I'm waiting for it to dry. We're that's literally watching cool. paint dry. Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Canyon from Indiana. Shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Canyon from Indiana. For hanging out with us here on the special, uh, what is this? YouTube. This is the edition. YouTube extravaganza, extravaganza featuring Rocky Romero and David Finlay. Featuring Rocky Romero and David Finlay. Um, I guess what we can do is we can, we, let's, let's, uh, let's take a question from the chat. How about that? How do you feel about that? I, I actually feel really great about taking a question from the chat. Too. I feel like, um, you know, all our, all our folks in the chat, I hope that you're, uh, you're smashing the like button, like we said, letting everybody know that you're hanging out with us tonight. Uh, and this first question, it says, uh, have you guys considered having a super card in Cincinnati? Would love to see that. What have we? about that? Oh, and then he says, uh, have Moxley defend the U.S. title in his hometown here in the U.S. at the 5-1-3. I guess that's the area code of Cincinnati. I would assume so. I've never <laughs> actually been to Cincinnati, so I would not know. It's a nice place. Yeah, I would, you know, I am open to uh, kind of showing up anywhere in the States and bringing New Japan Pro Wrestling because yeah. I think it is the best wrestling you can get. You know, I would say for sure Cincinnati would definitely be a town that I, I could see us going on tour uh, and, and visiting. You know, we haven't really hit the uh, the Midwest much, and I feel like we would need to hit, like, Detroit, Cincinnati, Chicago. You know, those are all places that'll, that'll definitely be a part of the tour once the world is back. And, in the and, after times, in, in the better times. In the better times, in the better times. the soon-to-come better times, hopefully. Right. It's not the before times, because we no. talk about this all the time, but the before times, is, uh, it, it was very, very different. Didn't have to wear a mask. Didn't have to wear a mask, didn't have to do certain things, but now... Outside was safe. It was safe to go outside, <laughs> for the most part. But now, we're in the current times. We're in the current times, where we have to wear a mask, and outside is not safe. <laughs> right. And then there's the... The soon the the after time the after, the after times. times which is where everyone is happy again and we can all see each other smile and then we're doing just New Japan tours all over the world especially Cincinnati especially Cincinnati. yeah especially so, Cincinnati yes, I would love to see Moxley defend the U S title in his hometown in the five one three in Cincinnati against David Finley how about that I think that's that? great let's do it put it out into the ether let's see what happens I'm okay with it I'll allow it crypto you into it. We'll save Help that. It. We'll come back. <laughs> to it. Uh, so yeah. So um, I guess what we can do is um, shall we do another signing? Let's do another sorts? signing. What okay. do we have? We got all. Let's see, cute little Rocky headband. I see a cute little Rocky headband. Yeah. Hey guys, if you guys want to get a sweet headband, it says Rapungi on it, and uh, it's my headband. And we also have. He made it himself. I did. These King of Sneaky Style shirts made by my good friend Luke Sowerby. So uh, check those out. They're available now. Rocky, what is what is the King of Sneaky Style? Well, so you guys have, may have heard of a wrestler uh, formerly of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, his name is Shinsuke Nakamura. Never heard of him. Never heard of him? Nah. Good kid. 
uh, he uh, he took the name of the king of strong styles, right? Which is strong style everybody knows in New Japan Pro Wrestling, synonymous with Antonio Inoki creating the style based on Japanese professional wrestling against all these tested against all these other martial arts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I figured I could test myself against all kinds of different wrestlers and, and, and I so I developed my own style of professional wrestling. Right. And it is called Appy. Sneaky style. Okay. Where yeah. y- it, it, you you basically are challenging yourself to take what some people might say shortcuts. I like to say they're just special techniques. Okay. You know, witty. I'm like a fox. <laughs> I'm sly. You think outside of the box. I think outside of the box. Is that are you forced into thinking outside of the box because you're five foot two? Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You really want to get to technical terms? Yes. Okay. Yes, that is. Part of the reason that, um, yeah. So, like, when you're... That's smart, though. Vertically challenged, let's just say, okay. at, this, at this point. Uh, I, I would, yes, I would have to think outside the box. So, you're forced, you know, to... to I don't want to say bend the rules, but just, you know... Work them into your favor. Correct. Cool. That's smart. a great way to say smart. So, I that's how that. I created Sneaky Style. And uh, I'm working on a book. Okay. I've been working on it for about two years. Uh, it, it's called The Art of Sneaky Style. Um, I don't have a date when it's going to be coming out, but is it has... Is has this similar to, like, The Art of War? Correct. Okay. Sun Tzu, yep. Art of War, and then it'll... Uh, I, I feel like it's, it. you know, you read The Art of War, and then you read The Art of Sneaky Style, mm. and then you're like, whoa, this guy's on a deeper level. Nice. Than so, even. like, it's like, a, it's like a deeper dive into The Art of War, technically. Yes, cause you nice. yes, and you can use this sneaky style in all facets of your life. You know, uh, you know, banking. Okay. You know, uh, you you know, at work. Right. You know? Well, you I would say in school, you. but for the kids who are in school, we probably shouldn't be. Using yeah, we shouldn't. We shouldn't promote at that. School. We probably shouldn't. Promote definitely work that. hard in school and study. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, sure, yeah. Uh, but that. yeah, but definitely use it in the professional wrestling ring. And I'm gonna give you a copy. I, you know what? I would love a copy. I'll give you, but just don't share it because the last time I gave somebody a copy, somehow it ended up in Suzuki Goon's hands, and Taichi's yeah. been using all those Dang. techniques. He's he's not a good dude, is he? I good for nothing. Good for nothing. Stealing stuff all the time. All right, let's let's uh, okay. Enough about sneaky style. Let's <laughs> talk about it. Uh, shout out to Saki in Sapporo, Japan. Uh, very very cold there. Sapporo, beautiful Sapporo's place. Cold. It's a very beautiful place. Great ice sculptures. Beautiful ice sculptures during the uh, what is it? The ice festival. Yeah, I think it's in January. Incredible. January, yeah, February. Yeah, so cool. Usually new beginning. Yeah, usually yeah new beginning. Beautiful, 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 beautiful place, Sapporo. So shout out to Saki and Sapporo, and Saki got a lot of stuff. A actually, lot of stuff. yeah. Thank you, Saki. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. No note, but um, we love you anyway. And uh, you want to? Do you want to sign something? Yeah, I'll sign first. I'll you go ahead and s- I have more stuff. Oh, Saki bought lots of David Finley stuff. Big Finley, Fin Juice fan. About time. Uh, gonna sign some koozies. Look at that. That's really cool. You guys have not given me any of those koozies, but I'm gonna purchase one for you guys uh, after that. Like Ten dollars or something. I don't know. I don't know either. But either way, I'm I'm going to purchase one for me. Thanks. So I can put my cold beer, my cold Sapporo beer. Uh, and Saki, you can keep your cold Sapporo beer cold with these koozies. Are you allowed to talk about the beer that you have? <laughs> to uh, keep let's cold? Not ta- let's not talk no? about it because Rocky has a beer. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> All so. right. Um. All right, so now I'm going to sign a Finjuice towel. Former tag team champion here, David Finley, signed it. Beautiful. There's one. Beautiful. Two. That's awesome. Two. Uh, I think that's upside down. Is sign it? it the right way. There you Thank go. Thank you. <laughs> and then. And then Finley's going to leave space for when New Japan comes back to Sapporo. Juice can sign the other side. Wow. Cool. Look at this. We got this. Look at this. We got this. We got the glasses. Show us the back. 
Just the back of those koozies. Oh, the back of the koozies. All right. It says Happy Bears on the back. Oh. Just zoom in with your fingers if you're watching on a phone. <laughs> Signed it. <laughs> Look at that. Sunglasses. We got the towel? Here, let me, let me grab this. You want me to hold the other towel. side? Yeah, there yeah. we go. Put it right in the center. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Sweat, rally, drinking towel, whatever you want to use it for. Yep. My mom uses it for pickleball, actually. Does she yeah, really? Yeah, she plays pickleball and uses her favorite towel. There you go. You get a Mel approved. It's endorsed by David Finley's mom, yep. Mel Finley. Shout out to Mel. We love you. Um, so I guess this is this is the part where I'm going to sign now. Hang on. Oh, wait. Not yet. Oh, we signed one of these things, too. We also signed Ooh. the paper. All right. I'm going to you. Signing thing. Okay. Narrate me. Right. Do a good job, Finley. All right. You have a lot of these headbands, don't you? How come, so I, you're complaining about not getting a koozie, but I never got a headband. We'll, we'll get you one. So I would really, because I, I think I could rock a headband pretty well. Yeah, you got a. I could, I got, I got the long. You got a hand. perfect size head for that. Perfectly Dude, shaped thank head. Thank you, that. thank you. That is, that's an excellent compliment to have. Headbands, real hard to find, though. Yeah. Hard. Headbands are hard to sign. Hard. You did a good job, though. Officially signed by Rocky Romero. So, sign. Sign, that's for you, Saki. And then I, I sign this guy now, too. Okay. Big fan of Rapungi. Big fan of Rapungi. I, uh, last time I went to Rapungi, I got in, uh, not real trouble, but, uh, I didn't, I didn't make the smartest decisions financially. I racked up a really big bar tab. What you doing, Rapungi? It's Rapungi, though. Oh, it's Rapungi, though. You're famous. You're having a good time. So famous. Having a great this time. This is for you. Your little headband right there. Thank you for supporting. Rocky Romero and David Finley. Couldn't get that sent to you. All right. You guys can't see it, but Rocky has cute little Ugg slippers on. Oh, super cute, right? Yeah, They're so cute. comfortable. I got them they for uh, I got them for Christmas two years ago. My mom gave them to me. Oh, wow. oh your mom got you Ugg slippers? Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet of her. So it was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. So um, this is, uh, we got some questions. Oh, that, should okay, we, should cool. we take some questions? Okay, this is from... Jada. So our first question was from Brandon. Shout out to Brandon. We Thanks, know he's Brandon. from uh, Cincinnati. And this is coming from Jada. Where's Jada, Jada says, if you could pick any past, present, or future to wrestle, who would you face? Like anyone at any time? Yes. Past, present, future. So the before times? The before times. Current the times? Current times. Or like someone that doesn't exist yet. In the after times. So if I could pick someone that doesn't exist yet. Right. Hmm. But you have to know their name, so it'd be hard yeah. to... Uh, well, you know. I'll leave the future, because okay. I'm, I'm not quite sure about that one. That's smart. I wrestled you. So, yes. you know, that's, that's a huge one off the bucket list. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's, it's the top one off the bucket list, <laughs> so, you know. Um, you know what? I would really like to wrestle Tanahashi in a singles. Ooh. Because... Uh, the ace was, of the universe. Yeah, I had an almost opportunity to in 2019. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be in the New Japan Cup, but I got injured. Right, So I was right. taken out of the Cup. But right. had I won my first round match, and Tana, w I think he won his first round match, I would have actually gotten that opportunity. But uh, well. my shoulder let me down, right. and it has yet to happen. Right. Well, there is a New Japan Cup coming up in, uh, in, in a couple months. That is true. So maybe you will get your opportunity then. We can only hope so. But cool. either way, that's a, that's a great, great question, Jada. For me, I am going to not... I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna go with the, uh, the after times or the future. Okay. Uh, uh, like you, I'm gonna probably go with Eddie Guerrero Ooh. from the past, the past nice. times, the before times. Uh, you know, Eddie, big influence on me as a professional wrestler, and you know, obviously, you know, he was the second Black Tiger. I was the fourth Black Tiger. So I think that would be just super cool. I mean, he, he's just one of the most gifted wrestlers of all time, and. And uh, yeah, that's that's my pick. That's a pretty good answer. I feel like that's, that's a, a good, good answer. that's a good one, right? Yeah. I'd also be curious to wrestle your dad, especially like '96 WCW times. Oh, that that'd would be kind of cool. Why like is he uh, scared prime, though? Prime mustache and mullet. Dude, he's so scared so though. I, this, <laughs> I, I don't think this is like a momentous occasion in wrestling history, but when he debuted in WCW, he attacked Regal, obviously, and he's wearing this like track suit jacket mm -hmm. from. Uh, it was actually my grandfather's because my grandfather was the coach for wrestling for the Commonwealth Games, like 
whatever, however okay. many years. And the first Finlay of the dynasty to be a professional wrestler? No. Second? Second. Okay. Wow. My dad is third. I am fourth. The history it's, is yeah, deep. Yeah, it goes, it goes back. But yeah, so anyways, that jacket that he debuted in WCW and I have hanging in my closet. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You should have wore it in, uh, today. Uh, it's, he's, my dad's thicker than me, so it just look like, I look yeah. like I'm wearing my dad's what is, jacket. What does Liger usually say? What does Liger say the difference between you and your dad is? Because this <laughs> is actually, a re- this is a very true story, the first time you ever met Jushin Thunder Liger in the dojo, right? Not quite the first time I met him, okay. but like within the first month of me being in the dojo. You probably met him when you were like five years old right, somewhere. Yeah. Okay, this is, so. this is him being around like adult me. Right. Or adult age me, I should say. <laughs> and uh, he goes like, oh, your father very scary, but you only funny. <laughs> that, kind of sum, that kind of sums up the difference between me and my dad. Absolutely. <laughs> um, two tremendous wrestlers in the, in the ring, but I outside of the ring. I fear in anyone's hearts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but my dad no. does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've heard the stories. Um, yeah, that's a perfect way to put it. Your, your dad, very scary. You, very funny. I'm good locker room entertainer. Funny. Yeah, you are. You are. And, and you're great entertainment here on youtube we're hanging with david finley rocky suka romero uh we're signing stuff we're talking shop we are we are talking we shop are. and uh we're just hanging out you know we're hanging out at the la dojo it's fun it's cool we're it's here nice. it's beautiful dojo beautiful weather outside even though it's dark it's uh it's awesome it was um a pretty day today though yes it was it was a very beautiful very day cold here in, in los angeles Atlanta, where i live right now or cold no, for Los Atlanta. Angeles is is awesome. I I love it. This is my home, and uh, you grew I, up here, right? I grew up here. Grew up in you know, not too far. Area. And uh, yeah, I just I just love it here. I don't know if uh, if I could live anywhere else, but I feel like one day I'm I'm gonna have to live somewhere else. I think. Try yeah. something new. Yeah, you, you got any options? Or ideas? Possibly thinking about Florida a little mm, bit. Nice. You know, nice. something. It's got to be weather's got to be right for me. You know. Yeah, I'd be spoiled to move somewhere sunshine. cold. You, you know, sunshine. I couldn't live in Sapporo. It, too cold. You See, know, I'm, I'm more beautiful place. The, no. I'm built for the. Yeah. Snow, you, know that? you are. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> please I'm good t- at staying inside. tell us all about <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm built for the inside. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Got soft skin. You know, if, I'm out, if I'm out in the sun for too long, I turn red within like 20 minutes. This is true. I've seen this before. So, you know, like snow, places where we got to stay inside, be warm. That's mm-hmm. that's what I'm built yeah. for. You, you, you get sunburned very easily. So, w- like way too easy. We saw this uh, a couple years ago. We went to Zushi Beach. Uh, shout out to <laughs> Zushi. And, and you burned to the crisp. Yeah, to the cri- bright red. Also yes. in Singapore. Were you there for that? Um, we stayed at the Marina Bay Sands. It's like the shout thing. out to the Marina Bay Sands. Marina Bay Sands, so yeah, nice. great and, hotel. Uh, um, rooftop pool, beautiful, beautiful pool, beautiful pool. And yeah. I forgot that we were uh, outside. I yeah. guess it was kind of overcast though, wasn't it? Was it? But yeah, you, and you, and sometimes you forget that you burn an overcast. I've been burning my whole life. I should All have right. known better. We should talk about wrestling. I feel <laughs> like, <laughs> and not my sunburn. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Let's uh let's sign some stuff. That's right. what we should do. What do we have to sign? We have uh this comes from Kaori. A, yep. From, from Fukuoka. Whoa, Fukuoka. One of the best cities in Japan. Very nice. Beautiful city. Beautiful city. Fantastic uh ramen. They got r- really good ramen there. They got a special kind of ramen there. I'm not sure what it's called, but the weather's always great there too. Weather's always good. Fukuoka it, it is 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 awesome. Uh, the different canals and stuff, just really pretty. O- almost like a kind of like a European type of feel to it. it does. You know, it does. there in Kobe, I have this European type of feel. I feel like. Yeah, just a big river running down the just, center of the yeah, city. Yeah. yeah, beautiful river going down. Take the gondolas. I don't know if there's a gondola. I don't. I don't think Fukuoka has. <laughs> well, you know, Italian I, boats. <laughs> I think that maybe there's a business there for you and me, <laughs> and starting a gondola business. Let's, let's do there. it. You know, I think we should. Uh, Hap- I'll run the cashier. Right, and, and I'll be push. the. You can yeah, paddle. I'll be the paddle, and yeah. I'll sing. You're the better singer. Whoa, like, and I'll sing Italian music Romantic. by Dean Martin. Romantic, <laughs> beautiful. I think it's a great idea. If you are smashing the like <laughs> button right now and you're just 
not hanging out with with us tonight. I mean, like, what are you doing? You know, like, what are this you doing on a Thursday? This is the place to be. You could be. It's right here on YouTube. And we're glad that you're here with us. I mean, we're YouTubers now. We've Perfect. joined the ranks of Jushin Liger, Hiromo Takahashi, Toriyana, who are famous YouTubers in Japan, but we are famous YouTubers worldwide, and it's all because of you guys. And you're smashing the like button and subscribing and subscribing. And of asking course. questions. You gotta ask questions. And uh, great questions coming in. All right, I'm Fuku gonna sign this okay. for Kaori from Fukuoka. Shout out to Kaori from Fukuoka. Didn't leave a note, but we just want to say thank you uh, for hanging with us. And uh, if you guys want to get some merch live right here from Rocky and or Finley, do it so now. Toke on Shop Global is the destination. NJPW1972.com. Is that what it is? Uh, that's what it is, right? Check it out. Toga Shop Global. Get some awesome sales or get some awesome merch from Finley and Rocky. How am I doing, Finley? I think you're killing it, dude. You know, some think, of us I were made. I think I should get a Rapungi headband, though. I think that would help. I feel like you I should. I think I should one. wear a Rapungi headband. I think you, well, you got to buy one first. <laughs> Cashless time. Uh, yeah, it's cashless <laughs> time. Get your order and go. Go ahead. Get on your little. Get on <laughs> your little up phone. On my phone. Yeah. All right. Um, what else do we? I have? guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna take. We're gonna do a super chat question. Let's see here. Let's pull it up. Uh, make sure you guys are are leaving questions in the chat. Uh, for us, we will answer them. We we have fun with these. And um, this is coming from Jonathan. Jonathan says, how can you guys keep these L.A. Dojo, Young Lions, Coughlin, Connors, Kid from getting pulled into the Bullet Club? Any you want to join Chaos or Hontai? That's a good question. Well. Go ahead, Finley. I'll let you answer. How do we keep them? Yeah, let's, talk, let's start how at the top. Keep, how do you keep you? them from getting pulled into the Bullet Club? So, so. I think what Jonathan's trying to say is the LA Doja guys have bright futures, yeah. A, right? You know, they're in tremendous shape. Shibata's doing a great job training them. Um, they've really shown their skill set on New Japan Strong every Friday night, 7 p.m. Uh, West Coast, 10 p.m. East Coast on njpwworld.com. Check it out. Um, so how would you go about keeping talented wrestlers from joining the dark side in the bullet club and selling out for that big money that the uh, the bullet club brings in with all that merchandise that's that's a tough question that is a tough i know question, it was, sounded really the, good uh, it sounded really good to join right i feel like i just I would, <laughs> to join yeah i would almost say if it works out for you do it <laughs> <laughs> when you bring in the merch sale that's however, not what people want to hear what the question was that's not what people want to hear that's not what the question was how would i deter them from yes, joining how would you deter them uh well i think i have an idea you go first because i don't have an idea okay okay i feel like you were struggling there so <laughs> let, me, let me i would say we have to start a group of our own outside of chaos and home time but like we're still friendly with our friends you know okada's my best friend it's not like i'm just gonna leave him high and dry i mean he's my absolute best friend everybody knows are, are you his best friend what, what are you saying exactly i'm just saying is it like a mutual relationship or is it one-sided we've all been there i mean you know i mean we text you oh, know cool you know, yeah it's a couple I'll times a year yeah that's we'll call it mutual yeah a couple times a year right. I, you know he'll text me and say hey Good. you know Good. and uh and then when you know when we're at the events live you know um he says good morning to me, you know, That's on good. the bus, yeah. you know? So I feel like we're, I mean, we're besties, 100%. Uh, yeah. That's know? more than I get, so yeah. Right. Sounds like best friends to me. Cool. Well, now that we've established the lines of how a best friend works, <laughs> let's get, let's do a deep dive into this question from Jonathan. And, and I think that we have to start a group of our own with really cool merchandise, right? And we won't too sweet. We can three or four sweet five sweet six sweet seven sweet and we can uh and then we can make our own group and sell a bunch of merch together and we can do these live and we're gonna do it through you guys by smashing the like button and hanging <laughs> out with david finley and rocky romero what do you think i mean i know it's it's hard to just put that on paper and then like just make it happen but i think that 
if we got a, a group of really cool individuals like us right. who are funny, smart, good looking, great personalities, great personalities, uh, we could really do some cool. And we're good wrestlers. That's true. That's the important that's true. Part, right? Yeah. It's all well, about. Yeah, I think that's a good way to go. We start our own group. We just invite. Are we inviting all the LA Dojo boys to the group? That's not a bad idea. It's I not a bad like. idea. That would be, and then I feel like it's like an NBA team who's investing now to be like two or three years. Right. They're gonna have a dynasty. And there's no way any of them would ever sell out. No. I, yeah, I don't. That's why so. you get them young. You get them young. You know, raise them. You know, them, you take raise care of the them children. so they feel like they're indebted to you. Right. And then raise uh, the children exactly. to become men. You know. Raise them right. Raise them right. You follow the rules. So this is the real question. Okay, so Jonathan, this is how we're. This is our plan. But I feel like the only way we got to do is we got to come up with a cool name for the group. Go ahead, Finley. Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. There it is. You heard it here first, folks. The Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. Hound Dog Brigade is coming to New Japan Pro Wrestling. We don't exactly know who the members are, but they're going to be... Me and Rocky, for sure. For us, for sure. Some LA Dojo guys, hopefully. Yeah. We can recruit them, and Shibata doesn't beat us up for it. Yeah. Um, uh, we might have to pay him, like, a royalty fee or something. That's fine. We can work it. I feel like we're going to do so well on this, this merchandise. Is so this this is, is money. I mean, like, money. I want... if if Okay, look. Somebody get Meltzer on the phone right now. Should we call him? Should we text him? I don't, I don't, have, his I don't have his number either. Credentials. Folks, if you're watching live, make sure that you're letting whoever you got to let know, Sean Rossap or, 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 or Dave Meltzer, any of these fellas, or, 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 or Denise Salcedo, let her know that, the, what is it called? Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade is about to get set loose on New Japan Pro Wrestling, and we are taking over the world. I think that's a great idea. Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. There it is. That's how we keep right. the LA Dojo Boys from Pointing <laughs> Bullet Club as we create the Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. Okay, on a serious note though, anybody that, that you would like to from the LA Dojo that you see a future in that you would that you would like to bring into either the Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade or Hontai or Chaos. I would uh, I mean I guess technically they're all Hontai. Right. By default. But however. if you if you but could, if we if, if we're bring someone into your Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. Yeah. Anybody got your eye? Is this just from LA Dojo or yes. entirely? No, we're doing LA Dojo only. Does Gabe Gabriel Kidd Gabriel count Kidd, as he, LA Dojo? Because yes. he did get stuck in Japan. But he's a uh, he's an, an But he's LA officially Dojo. LA Dojo. Yeah. I would say Gabriel Kidd. You like Gabe Kidd? And I think uh, Clark Connors has a great. Future. I, they all have right. Yeah, features. I would take I would take any of them. Yeah, right? honestly, to, to bring them. into chaos honestly, and, and nurture into champions, uh, as I do, as I did with Show and Yo, uh, as as you know, and. Um, so uh, yeah, I would take uh, I think Clark or take Carl. I would, yeah. I mean, I'll take them all. Yeah, any one of them. I'll just I'll draw a name out of a hat. Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. I want to say almost <laughs> Rap Scallion Hot Dog Brigade because we uh, do like hot dogs. Yeah, let's do. We love you want to do dogs. that? Yeah, we can change it. It's not official. No, yet. I feel like the hound dogs sound cool though too. People already like it. Yeah. It's already. S- we're probably selling so much merch. My phone. Can we make live up. merch right now on this thing and just sell it? That's what we Can we create merch That's the on future. the spot? That's Print the it? future. That's the future. That's it. Okay, let's um, let's get back to business here. And uh, we are going to s- do another signing. This Is comes it? from okay. Aya. Aya from Fukuoka, Japan as well. A lot of Fukuoka. That's cool. Oh, second one. Is that? Yep. You know, what, you know what the thing is? Is because Finjuice is actually really big in Fukuoka. Are we? You guys have a big following. I think Fukuoka. so. I so see a lot of those uh, rainbow towels actually when we're in Fukuoka. In Fukuoka, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I mean, it it obviously shows because there's tremendous sales from Fukuoka here. Killing it. No, nah, Fukuoka is uh, one of my favorite spots in uh, Japan. We talked about it. We're gonna start a gondola business there. I'm gonna sing. You're gonna work the cash register. I mean, there's just a bright future. In All while starting Rap Scallion Hound Dog Brigade. We're just we're busy <laughs> men. We're, <laughs> we're busy, busy men. men. Yeah, it, it's gonna be awesome. So. Aya, Aya Chan, this is uh, this is for you. Uh, I think they want you to read the note. If you could read that, I will read the note. It says to Finlay, "I like you, bright and nice. I'm looking forward to your wrestling matches in Japan again." That's awesome. Thank you, Aya. I am also looking forward to my uh, wrestling matches in Japan again, and I cannot wait to be in Fukuoka. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to go back to Fukuoka. It's been a, a very long time since I've been to Fukuoka. Like a y- 
Oh, I was there in, in two thousand. I was there in two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. And that was the last time I was in football. In the before field. time. In the before time. Dang. And wow. uh, I miss it, and I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to eat some delicious ramen, drink some beers on my gondola, uh, visit Canal City, maybe do some shopping. I love Canal City. Canal City's great. Maybe watch a movie. At one time, there was a Wendy's there. I don't know if it's still there, but it, I mean, any place that had a Wendy's is super cool. It's over with me, you know? That's the, that's, that's the kind of world I'm living in. There it is. There are your glasses, your koozie, happy beers for everyone. One of these too. Signed uh, official paperwork to make this all official. And uh, I hope you all are smashing the like button right now. We are live on New Japan Global's YouTube, Toke on Shop Global, where you can get all the amazing stuff from New Japan Pro Wrestling, Bullet Club, Chaos, The Raymaker, My Best Friend, uh, The Ace of the Universe, Marcus Bullet David Finley, Rocky Romero. We are here live. We're hanging out. We're chilling. We're talking shop. We are. We're talking wrestling. We are talking about our past. We're talking about the present. We're talking about the future. <laughs> And most importantly, we're giving uh, uh, the opportunity to talk with us live and chat with us, ask us questions, and we will answer them right here, right now, live on YouTube as official YouTubers. I got a question for you, Rocky. Yeah. You've, uh, how, you've been in Japan since you were about 19, is that correct? Correct. correct. First, so yeah, 19, yes. So yes. quite a career. Out of, uh, how many years, 18 years mm -hmm. in Japan? So out of uh, all Maybe. the time you spent in Japan, what yep. is... One of the most memorable moments of your career. Wow, so many, Finley. So many that um, I probably can't remember any of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you know, one that I one that I, I I really enjoy was a few years back. It was uh, a Wrestle Kingdom. I don't know what number I've done so many Wrestle Kingdoms at this point. But uh, I think one of my last Wrestle Kingdom is that I wrestled in. It was Trent, question mark, and myself, Rapungi Vice. We had a match against the Young Bucks there. And uh, I was on a losing streak. I remember this. I was on a crazy, crazy losing streak for like six months or something. I remember this because it started with me, actually. You were the one that started my losing streak. I started streak. it, yeah, because it was... It was uh, right after I finished the dojo. We have come, we have come a long way, haven't we? We're friends. Look, we're here <laughs> on YouTube. You know, getting people to subscribe and smash like buttons. Uh, well, so that that uh, well, you know, Trent and I, we we, we were going through some issues there. I right. was losing, he was winning, and and uh, we couldn't get on the same page. And we end up winning the Super Junior Tag League, right? Then we get our our, our opportunity at Wrestle Kingdom against the Bucks. And when all was lost, somehow the little engine that could, Rocky Yusuke Romero, five foot two, pulls out the victory. Well done. Against, you know, in, w in my opinion, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. I would agree with that. So, uh, That's quite the win. Huge win, huge Wrestle Kingdom moment. Uh, you know, just fans screaming worldwide, sold out. I mean, like, just everything's going nuts, you know, like, people are, uh, you know, People are yelling and screaming, crying, you know. That, that was, was one of those people crying. Yeah, just so happy. So uh, that, that was one of my favorite moments. Another great moment was one of my last great singles matches in Japan a couple of years ago, 2019, was the best super junior, I mean, iconic junior match of this century, of this, this, of this time, is uh, me and El Fantasmo, sold out cork. And I remember that ladies one. crying, yeah. children crying. Uh, happy tears. Happy tears. Did yeah. you have happy beers after? Oh, had. You know what? I wanted to have happy beers after, but I was so emotionally exhausted from that match that I I, I sat on my bed and I was like, oh, it would be great to go have some beers, and I just fell asleep. Oh, you did a happy sleep. I did a happy sleep. Oh, wow. So tired. Uh, so I mean, that was a tough one for me, That's, man. Yeah. Sometimes you put everything on the line, and you ever had a match like that? With El Fantasmo? No. <laughs> no, but you ever had a match where, where like you're so emotionally drained from the yeah. from the experience that it's just like uh, I don't know, it's just like a whole not like you literally have put your your whole soul into that. Yeah, I would say I would say I had two of those in like 
the span of like a month. Man, tell us it about was, it. Uh, so tag league, not this last tag league, but 2019 tag league, the one that Juice and I actually won. Yep. Congratulations, uh, by the way. You, I don't know if I ever you. said that. Uh, I think he has. Okay. Found it now though. <laughs> but uh, this was me coming off of my injury, of course. So like, first tour back in a tournament. Yeah. And just like we made it to the finals, and then finally we win the finals, and it was just yeah. like. We went out for happy beers afterwards, but I was just so tired. You made it through, like, though, somehow. made it through and then got back to the hotel room, fell asleep, and then I overslept, actually, for, like, the bus the next day. Did you really? Yeah, just out of Man. pure exhaustion. See, and that's then, uh, the beautiful thing about professional wrestling is, like, these moments. Yeah. You know, like, like they're, they're, they're deep. It's deep. Professional wrestling is a, is a deep, deep uh, sport, and, and I'm glad that we get to do it, in, in my opinion, yet again. But the greatest professional wrestling company ever, you know. So I'm I'm glad that we you know we get to we have the greatest fans. They're all on here. They're smashing the like button. They're hanging out with us. David Finley, Rocky Sukaruma, right here on YouTube, official YouTuber. That's been official. We've called it, and um, I think we are going to do another signing. Correct? Yes. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Do we have another signing? We are gonna do okay. another signing. We'll do another signing. Let's do it. Thank you, Jeremy. So this comes from Anthony out in Staten Island. Shout out Staten Island. That's what I'm talking about. Wu Tang Clan. I saw, uh, see. The only thing I know about Staten Island is Wu-Tang I used Clan. to watch. Uh, well, that too, but not more so. Impractical Jokers. Oh, <laughs> is what I would watch. There you go. That's a good show. Yeah, that got me through the dojo, actually. Yeah, big fans of professional <laughs> wrestling, those guys, too, you know? Yeah. 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 Big fans of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Here we go. Shout out to Impractical Jokers. And more importantly, shout out to Anthony from Staten Island. I don't know if I'm doing that. I want to almost do a Staten Island I can tell you tried. I, I tried, but Staten Island. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that at all. No, <laughs> Come on, I'm dude. embarrassed. No, I can't. <laughs> Let's do some signings. All right. and, and then you can read the comment there. Right, Anthony's the comment. got a note for us. I'll read the comment. Por favor. Anthony says, hi, my name's Anthony. Huge fan of both. Hope you guys are staying safe. What are your expectations for your njpw careers in 2021 thanks Ooh. thank you for that anthony that's a great question um you want to you want to go first i'll go, go first. first yeah uh so 2021 uh i mean you know just until like december i hadn't been in japan since february so uh just probably the longest time off since i've had since like an injury back in like 2006 or seven or something so like it was weird not being in japan um so i'm just i'm I'm just really excited even though i've been competing on new japan strong i'm super excited to just get back into like some full-time competition in japan and more importantly i got my sights set on the best of super junior this year i wasn't in it last year obviously due to the the pandemic so um full steam ahead best super junior I gave myself, I don't know if you saw this Finley, because I, I know you follow my Twitter religiously and you have all the alerts when I, when I tweet anything, I do. I do. but, um, I, I put out a tweet that I saw it by the time I'm 40, I would like to win the IWGP junior heavyweight title. Have you never won it? I won it as black tiger, okay. but I want to win it as Rocky Romero in the now times. I got you. That's you a good goal. That's I feel a like that's goal. a, that's a hell of a goal. It's not going to be an easy it's no. not like an easy one either, though. No, there's you no know? chumps. You know, and I'm and, and let's be honest, I'm not, I'm not at the top of my game anymore. There's a lot of young guys out there you that are. So? No, nah, I mean, I'm always been in my prime. You know, so I'm, gonna say, I'm one of the best of all time. But you know, but uh, let's just say, <laughs> I'm just. Kidding. I would say you're in your prime. No, but uh, but I mean, there's just a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of great wrestlers, like you know, Hiromu, right? Uh, you know, uh, Dragon Lee, Ryu Lee. Uh, I mean. Ishimori, ELP, I mean, like, we have a pretty stacked junior division. Desperado, who really yeah. showed up oh, in man. 2020. Um, so I, I feel like it's not an easy task, but, you know, it's something that I would, that I need to do by the time of 40. Mm-hmm. I have to do it. I don't know what, the, what if I don't do it by 40, I guess is the real question, right? Well, then you just change the age? No. You just, you just I keep think setting it's, the goal? No, I think it's just, I, I'm done. 40 or above? I just walk away. Really? Ooh. Why not make the stakes high? Heavy work. I don't know. <laughs> Heavy work. To, I better think about that one before yeah. I say something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Heavy I, words. I feel like I got to make the stakes high enough, though, that I have to come through with it. I, I'll, I'll, I get that. Let me, I get let me that. sit yeah, on that. I, would, I, would I should sit on that, that a little bit. Let me think about it. Anyway, we're dropping exclusives right here. 
Exclusive. Hot mm. takes. Hot takes. Hot takes. What's my right. goal for my 2021? Well, I'll tell you what. Last year didn't really – I feel like I started off pretty well. Mm-hmm. Juice and I won the tag team championships at the Tokyo Dome. Right. Hot start. Hot start. And then uh, it kind of was like downhill from there. Yeah. As uh, most of 2020 was yeah, for yeah. most of us. Yeah, my uh, my wrestling career kind of really, you know, fell in line with the rest of the year. Right. Um, but, yeah, we uh, we were in Atlanta, my hometown, and uh, lost the tag team championships. Right, right. And then never got them back. Right. You know, we made it to the finals of World Tag League um, this past Against December. Against the same, the same guys that uh, – Yes, yeah, so we kind of – G.O.D. Ended the year, same way we started off, and uh, we're unsuccessful, unfortunately, so – but 2021 is looking bright. I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, just talking about um, Wrestle Kingdom, I mean, one of the biggest things, newsworthy notes was Kota Ibushi kind of being that uh, that star, guiding yeah, the wave yeah. to, to, you know. It's inspiring. To, it's inspiring. It's inspiring. inspiring. Which brings me to my point of, like, my 2021 goal is, like, I would like to, at some point in the year, even finish the year out as a champion, whether it's singles or tag, but, like, I like it's my time to step up that's awesome i could see you i mean obviously you you and juice are are an awesome tag team and and like what i like about you guys especially in this last um tag league was just like you guys have grown so much as a team and even like the little combinations that you guys are doing and it's and so like stuff that's like throwback to like like some of the older tag teams you guys are doing like power and glories moves and stuff like it's like you know you guys started doing the um the doomsday device right well you guys were doing that before though but no, the, no. well you guys did the uppercut version then yeah or well we tried it once and i got hurt yeah <laughs> <laughs> well but, yeah but, well thank you yeah no i think it's so cool and uh uh i i think what that's what also made you guys different like in in, in the tag league was just the like little things you really using the the tagging in and out to your advantage and and uh i don't know there was like something that was very like cool and old school reminded me of like when i used to watch uh tag team wrestling as a kid well thank you that's so that's a huge compliment we just kind of looked at the competition and we're like we had to change the game plan and bring our a game didn't fully work out in the long run but uh i mean you I guys mean, the, you guys worked. you guys got it almost s- worked you guys got screwed I don't know if I can we say did. it on here, bro. We did. Don't come after me, YouTube. Don't at me, bro. But uh, yeah, we you did. got you guys did. I mean, it took like four people to beat you guys in that, that tag is, league. That is true. It, it was very frustrating, but you know what happens when you're fighting Bullet Club, which is why we got to keep these. LA got to keep these boys LA Dojo guys out of the Bullet Club. Out of Bullet Club. We don't care how much money you guys are making. It's not about the money. It's about the wrestling. It's about the money. It's anyway, the money. so uh, so if you guys want to contribute to <laughs> to our money, you can just go on here, buy some merch, smash the like button, let everybody know that you're hanging out with Finley and Rocky Romero here live on YouTube, and Finley is going to I'm, sign I'm some for stuff for Anthony. Anthony. Thank sure. you for your question, Anthony. Hope we answered Great it. Great question. Yeah. We eventually answered it. Yeah. We did a exactly. roundabout way. This is basically a podcast We right took now. the scenic route. Yeah. We took the scenic route, but we're, we're going to get to it. So, uh... Finley is going to sign these awesome Finjuice glasses right on the left eye. Beautifully done. Show the people. Oh, show the people. The That's for you, Anthony. That is, your, you, that is for you. Um, and now he's going to sign the card. The card says Toke on Shop Global. It's all official. And now that thing is worth so much money. I mean, the, well, I would hope it didn't. It was just a value. piece of paper before, Thank but you. now it is a piece of gold. Yes, I have the Midas touch when I write my name on paper, this. gold. Sweet. Okay, we've got about ten minutes left. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this has actually been so much fun. This flew by. That's a great picture of you. Yeah, look at that. That's an excellent picture. You guys want to get a portrait of Rocky Romero? You got ten minutes left to make your purchase, ten and minutes. I will sign it right here, right now, live. Um, do you Bye. know if I'm supposed to make this out to Anthony? So I say, yes. I put to Anthony. Okay, great. I'm going to sign this. I'll go ahead and take over. All right, I'll me. take over. Rocky's going to write to Anthony and then his name. That's pretty much all you do? Yep. So I used to always, uh, like, being out in the wild with my dad sometimes, kids would come up to him when I was, like, in middle school and be like, oh, can I get your autograph? And uh, he would always say no. Yeah. And I always thought he was so mean for that. And then another time. Talk about Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle? You want me to talk about Hornswoggle? Yeah. 
Well, he's my brother. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you a story about that. I don't know. If That's for you, Anthony. Thank you, bro. We appreciate it. Thanks, Anthony. All right, so here's my here's my good hornswoggle story. Do tell us. We have only a few minutes. We have left. a few minutes. I can I can do it in about three to five to maybe Perfect. eight. Perfect. We got a couple questions. So here. the night before they did that big reveal of uh, hornswoggle being my my dad's son, my mom sat me down. Like I think this was a Sunday. They were doing this on a Monday, or maybe it was that Monday night. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. And she was like, "Listen, this is what they're gonna do on TV." So when you go to school tomorrow, everyone's going to ask you, is Hornswoggle your brother? Yeah. You have to tell them yes. Well, he was so your then, brother. Well, he was. But they, you. But you, I found out at the same time as everybody is right. saying. They were announcing it to the world. So they're like. And you found out at the same time. We didn't want you to find out this way. Wow. Heavy conversation. So, to have yeah. With your mom, so then, you know. you know, I'm dealing with all those emotions of like, oh, I didn't know I wasn't the oldest. Right. You right. Because you now you were, you were second in line. I became a middle child in one wow. night. Changed yeah. your life forever. Still not over it. See, you, that's probably what happened where you, you kind of got, you, you kind of went funny, as Liger put it. Like, you were going to be No, scary. I was always funny. Uh, oh. So I introduced myself okay. to my first grade class. I said, my name is David. I'm funny and cool. Did you really? Is that yeah, I swear. Story? That's a true story. <laughs> you can ask Mel. Of course That's did. how I introduced myself <laughs> at six years old to my first grade class. And I did. stand by those words to, that's, to this day. Wow. All right. Anthony from Staten Island, thank you so much. Uh, we've got another signing here from Asuka. Shout out to Asuka. Asuka's always a big supporter uh, of Rocky Romero and all my projects, whether they be music or talking shop or whatever I'm doing, Asuka's always su supporting and uh, showing love from Sapporo. So, hi, Asuka. I hope you're doing well. Um, stay warm in Sapporo. Is there a lot of Sapporo love in Fukuoka? Lot of, yeah, a lot of Sapporo, a lot of Fukuoka. So I'm gonna sign this portrait here, eight by ten. Sign it. That's a very. I actually really like that jacket that you have on in that portrait. It's the gold, uh, glittery, sparkly one. It's one of my favorites. Rocky actually has lots of jackets. I have good taste when it comes. Good to taste. Me. Rocky is a fashionable man. Um, what's the eye patch for though? Did you get like a bad? Do you have a glass eye? Fashion. Fashion. It's fashionable eye patch. I didn't. I didn't know that. Eye patches were considered fashion fashionable, but I guess uh, Rocky's a trendsetter. Would you consider yourself a trendsetter? Yes. Good. Good. Sign order. Signed. Man, you take forever to sign things. I took my time. That's true. Sometimes you have to. That's for you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh, okay. Oscar. We do. Asuka actually wrote a message, though. Did we read this yet? Oh, yeah. Asuka said that she cannot wait, or he cannot, they cannot wait for this year's BSO, BOSJ, Best of the Super Juniors. Asuka, ca Asuka, I can't wait for the Best of Super Junior either. I am super excited. My plan is to win it, get that title shot against whoever the champ is at that time, and get that IWGP Junior Heavyweight title. You heard it here, folks. We are breaking news like crazy. I mean, this is where the place you need to be if you want to hear about the latest breaking professional wrestling news ever. This is the place. Actually, you've got me. You've got me excited to see the best of the Super Juniors this year. I want to see you win it. You have to win it. I mean, I have to. You need to. My career might be over. No, <laughs> well, don't don't put it on the line. <laughs> well, we don't know. What I have. You, you, you still got a good. Me. Okay. You still got a good ten years in you. Here we go. Let's. Uh, we only got uh, like. A few minutes left, so we got. We, now we got to actually move. We got. We got a hustle. Stuff. All we got right. A lot of stuff to do. The, uh, first of all, question from Saki: uh, When can you come back to Japan? I'll be waiting. That that's a. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I am waiting to find out when I can go back to Japan. Hopefully, it's soon. I hope that it is. I don't know. Next tour. I, I hope to be back for the Super Junior, and I and I, I want to be kicking butt in that thing and 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 taking names, as they say. I'd like to be in the New Japan Cup. If that's that's cool in the cards for okay. me. Okay, and then we had another uh, question, super chat question. This comes from the Dutch Oreo. Uh, Dutch Oreo says, "What was your favorite Wrestle Kingdom 15 match?" Go ahead, Finley. My favorite Wrestle Kingdom 15 match. I would say probably uh, Kota Ibushi versus Naito it was pretty good. Mm. That was. I feel like that was a that was a big moment. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I like seeing Jay lose. Right. That was against cool. Kota Ibushi like as that. well. I like when Jay loses. That's cool. It's my favorite. 
my best friend defeated him a couple years ago at MSG. That was cool. Nice. A uh, pretty iconic moment. Anyway, uh, my favorite match was probably Ibushi versus Jay, though. That that was just the 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 the, the, str- the emotional strings were going all over the place. But then um, I don't know. There were so many matches. Then that Osprey uh, Okada match was was crazy. The Jeff Cobb versus Shingo match was wild. I mean. A lot of good matches. Really good wrestling. A lot of, MSG. lot of good wrestling. So I mean, really, I would just like to say, the t- both, you know, both days, the yeah. whole, the whole, the event. whole, the whole thing. But actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on Jay Ibushi just because Jay lost. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna sign some stuff, uh, real quick. Cool. So um, what do we have to say? Just came in. This is uh, from Robert in Marietta, Georgia. What's up, Robert? Uh, Robert from Marietta. That's almost my neck of the woods. Yeah, that's your area, actually. I'm a Peachtree City man myself. So I'm going to uh, sign it. Too sweet, sexy Rob. My favorite hashtag marks after dark co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Patreon. We love you. <laughs> Talk shop Patreon. Check it out. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign that. Go ahead. Just, just a second. Go ahead. You take a moment and sign that. Oh, my voice cracked a little bit there. What what is the next question? I can't read from that far. You you could take our next question. It's from Jonathan. Jonathan says, "How do you guys feel about Coda's desire to unify the IWGP Heavyweight and IC titles?" Ooh. And then, how would you feel about an IWGP US Junior Heavyweight Championship? Ooh. All right. So the first one, unifying the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental. Championships. I guess that would make logical sense if they're being defended together. Might as well like morph them or take like pieces from them and create like one championship. I guess that makes sense. I would do that if I was in charge, maybe. Um, and then an IWGP. What is it? Junior US. Was that what it was? Yes. Junior US. Yep. You know what? Why not? Let's flood the market with championships, so that way everyone gets to be a champion. And, uh, you know, everyone can be happy. I think it's a great idea. I think we should do it. Rocky, you could, would that mean as much to you, being the IW, first ever IWGP U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion? I shouldn't ask you questions Maybe when you're Maybe this would be the time for, you know, if I can't, okay, like, if I can't win the, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight, then maybe... I try to convince somebody to make this championship. That's what I did with C Block. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what I did with C Block. Rocky then, gets it. And then I go cool. for it. Yeah, it's always good to have a plan B. And that's the plan B. Yeah. Actually, I would. I, oh, thank you, Rob. Appreciate you. Shout out to Rob, our super sexy Rob, favorite marks after dark co host. Um, yeah, I mean, that's. It actually wouldn't be. Like, right now in the current times, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea because, well, you know. A lot of wrestlers aren't able to travel to Japan, right? So maybe having a, a U.S. Junior Heavyweight title could create some very interesting. Yeah, situations. right now we kind of have a like a U.S. team and a Japanese team, correct? You know, or a Japan team. Japan team. Okay, we got uh, we got some more stuff coming in. We have a T-shirt. A, oh, this is coming from Cindy in Quebec, Canada. What's up, Quebec? King of sneaky style. Okay, King of sneaky style T-shirt. Hold on a second. I'm gonna hold it. You got it. Our good friend Jeremy is going to help with the signing process. Rocky, have you ever thought about wearing two eye patches? <laughs> Finley, that would be make it very hard to see. Sorry. You make them see through. Thank you. If it's just for Cindy. fashion. <laughs> and then Cindy also got a Finju sports oh, towel. Oh, Finju towel. These are great for, uh, you know, strenuous activity or just you know a good night drinking if you're a sweaty person they're good for lots of things you want me to hold that i can hold that for you yeah stretch that up there we go thank you cindy out of quebec we appreciate you hold it up high hold it if i hold it up high it's gotta be like right here that's a fin juice okay we only got a couple more minutes finley so we gotta we gotta we gotta get through are we wrapping this having so much fun we forgot that our main purpose here was to sign stuff and have a yeah, good time. We, we, we just, got carried away. We just we did get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to get carried away. I'm having fun. Let's go for two more hours. How about Let's do that? Do it. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not busy. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, either way, we're going to keep going until we can uh, we got one more? sign all these all things. All right. We got one more. <laughs> so uh, what do we got here? Drink this, holder. This, this is from? from Henry out of 
Warren's, Warner, Georgia. Warner Robins, Georgia. Oh, Warner Robins. You know All these Warner Georgia Robins? people support me. Yeah. yeah Warner Robins beat my high school in my senior year and got right. them out of the state tournament in football. Really? Yeah, so. So you have, you have a bone to pick with Warner Robins, but now. No, I, I don't. I didn't play football. Okay. Oh. Just fun fact. Okay. Fun fact. <laughs> For the people. Uh, Finley, people's champion, letting everybody know how it has people stories and very riveting details. Koozies here. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. We appreciate you. From Georgia. Uh, Thomas from the UK. Got a Rocky Romero portrait. I am going to sign that for you, Thomas. Thank you for supporting Rocky Romero, New Japan Pro Wrestling, David Finley here. Official YouTubers on the official New Japan Global YouTube. Uh, appreciate you, bro. Hit that Here's, like button. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Can they leave comments? Can you leave comments? Yeah, we got yeah, comments. Yeah, Write things. Comment. Tell uh, tell Rocky's hair looks good or something. Yeah, tell me how cool I look. Yeah. So, Rocky, you know your hair is very, very soft. There you go, Thomas. Yes. Know, I know you haven't wrestled yourself. Yes. But wrestling it, you have very soft hair. I have not ever wrestled myself. That. We wanted to go back and talk about that question where past, present, future. I mean, like, I should have just said I wanted to wrestle myself. That would have been. That would be cool. That would be cool. I, I like, think about all the cool matches you could have. Yes, they're but cool. What if, but what like, if you you're the. Yourself? What if you're the. But what if you're the yourself that loses? Either way, you're a winner. And a loser. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's whatever you focus on. Yeah. This one's uh, for Raheem. Raheem in Phoenix, Arizona. I know a Raheem from Phoenix, Arizona, actually. I've never been to Phoenix, Arizona. We may have done a song together or two. Really? Possibly. I don't know if this is the Raheem for sure that's one, but uh, if you are, shout out to your, shout out, either way, shout out to Megaran, who's my good buddy, uh, who is a, a really awesome rapper. Oh, uh, he was did at, TJP's uh, music. Yeah, he did he, the MSG show. Right. Yeah, shout out to Megaran. He's, he's got a new project coming out. Check it out, uh, Megaran. I don't know his, his official website, but check it out. Spotify, iTunes, wherever you download or listen to your music. Uh, let me sign this real quick. To Raheem. Good job, Rock. We never talked about my rap career. We got about we 60 got a minute? seconds. All right, I got 60 seconds to tell you about my rap career. I know it's my rap career is just listening to Rocky's rap career. <laughs> I don't listen to my music as your rap career. <laughs> Shocking news, I do not rap. Wait, I, I just listen. You actually, I, you have like two songs that are on my workout playlist, actually. Oh, sweet. Do you know the names? Uh, 28. Oh, that's a good one. And T-Shirt Trap. Nice. I got a, I got a new uh, T-Shirt Trap 2 song coming out. Really? Called I, Selling with Trey Miguel. Of, I might have to add that. Yeah. I'm, if it's good. If it's, it's bad, I'm not, it's not getting added. I'm working on the mix right now uh, as, as we speak. Uh, You're a busy man. Yeah. I got, I got a lot of stuff going on. Is, uh, let's see. Um. Let's see, do we have any more questions? We want to make sure we get to everybody. Um, oh, we had to scroll down a bit. We have all kinds of questions. <laughs> super chats. Uh, I think we got all the super chats. We got, are we good? And um, Did it. Is that it? Are we out of time? Is that it? Let's go are we on. out of time? I mean, are you shutting we us like down? Like we're getting shut down? Oh, man. Oh, I feel like we're, we're just getting started. We're killing it, dude. Two more hours. All right, Jeremy and Sis, we got to shut down. All right. We're Unfortunately. Up. We got to wrap, wrap it up. up call. They're playing the music. Um, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us. This was the most fun that I've had in a really, really long time, I feel like. Uh, yes. It, you know, it's been a, a, a heck of a year last year in 2020, but 2021 is looking bright. Uh, thank you for spending the time with us. We're official YouTubers right here. Smash the like button on your way out. And subscribe. And subscribe. For David Finley, future champion, uh, tag team champion, singles champion, for myself, got to get that BOSJ trophy. Got to get to uh, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship before I'm 40. Unless I got I just got to walk out of the sport forever. Dude, that's so that's dramatic. heavy. That's heavy. So dramatic. Don't leave. No, all right. Don't leave. Right. Anyway, we love you. Uh, NJPW1972.com. Tokon Shop Global is the the place to buy things place to buy things and w brought you this great great uh event here on youtube we love you we thank you and we'll see you on njpwworld.com the king of sports streaming there you go thanks World. for hanging out everybody good night <laughs>